Hello and welcome to your daily crypto news. So today is the last day of our contest. You can check the details below. There's still time to enter. We'll be announcing the winner tomorrow. The contest is going to cut off tonight at midnight. So tomorrow we're going to do a live stream where we pick the winner and also we're going to announce our next contest. So looking at the markets today, Bitcoin is actually up. We've crossed back over 85 and we're inching closer to $400 billion in market cap. We're at 391 right now. Bitcoin dominance has fallen just a shade. It's down to 37.1%. Uh, great news, everything in the top 18 are all winners, except for Tether, which is down a little bit. But of course, as we always say, Tether doesn't count. And check out our Tether video. Uh, I don't know if we'll release it before this one or after this one, but uh, it'll be either be one after or one before. And we're going to tell you guys why we think Tether is a scam, and you guys need to be careful with it. So let's look at the biggest winners of the day. Bytum is up 21%, quite a spike. Archain, Tron, Decred, uh, Bitcoin Diamond, Holo, Ontology are all up around the 10% mark. Biggest losers of the day, Wakey Chain is down, Populous, iExec, RLC, that's a new one. Just coming in at 99, haven't ever actually even seen that one before. So, uh, let's look at the news. There isn't a lot of news to cover today. Uh, usually we like to focus on altcoin news, but there wasn't that much altcoin news that came out. Uh, since we did our video yesterday. So VeChain is unveiling our development plan and white paper with an updated governance structure, economic model, and new use cases. This piece will gradually be updated throughout its existence to reflect the goals and growth of VeChain Thor blockchain. And as you guys know, we're a big fan of the VeChain Thor blockchain. Uh, and to be clear, I do not own any VeChain right now. I have in the past, so this is not a shill, as I always like to tell you guys. Uh, but I do love what the VeChain... Uh, Thor blockchain is doing. They're like kind of rewriting some rules in cryptocurrency. They have their new ICO, which is launching, which is going to be called Player, P L A I R. We talked about that on a video a couple days ago. And you guys can download the white paper by just clicking this link. And I will warn you, it's 114 pages. I think that's the longest one I've looked at so far. So, uh, you know, obviously 114 pages. I haven't read it thoroughly yet. I may at some point, I may not, not really sure. So let's move on over to a news story. Banks will trade cryptocurrency sooner than people think, uh, says former JP Morgan blockchain executive. And her name is Amber Balde, I think is how you pronounce it, or Baldit. I would say it's probably Balde. And so she was the former head of JP Morgan's blockchain arm. So let's look at some of the quotes that she had. She said, I think it's coming sooner than people probably think, but even where the will is, the legal and regulatory framework is challenging. So we are seeing that a lot of people are wanting to trade cryptocurrency or like Coinbase wanting to add more coins or tokens. But I think it just seems like with the regulation spotlight really on cryptocurrency, it's making it harder to do so, which in the end only makes us safer in the community. But it's keeping some big players out of the game that could probably be in a little quicker than that. So Amber Balde also has a startup. So she unveiled her new startup Clover, that's C-L-O-V-Y-R, Wednesday at the Consensus Blockchain Conference. The company offers something similar to the App Store, but for projects built on blockchain technology. So I would assume decentralized apps. So that's a little bit of bullish news. Uh, I'm not trying to shill her company. Maybe you want to check it out. Maybe you don't. But let's look at Binance. So they were trying to deposit some ELF into their Binance account. As you can see, it says confirming 7 out of 10. So the number before was 30. It took 30 confirmations. So this means that most likely you're going to be able to deposit into your Binance account even faster, which when we look at scalability and, and things like that, it's important that we are able to sync transactions very quickly. The faster, the better, obviously. As we saw in December when Bitcoin uh, transaction fees got out of control and all kinds of stuff was happening. So let's look at... I just realized I have earbuds in my ears and I'm not listening to anything. So I'm going to take those out right now. Strictly props. Okay, so last story. Let's look at cryptocurrency has been declared property in Russia. The justice minister has confirmed that. So basically what they're saying is that they don't consider cryptocurrency digital money yet, but they do consider it property. So imagine this scenario, and I saw a meme about this, and I don't know if it was based on an actual thing that has happened, but what about in a divorce? What if you are married and you and your wife have money in cryptocurrency and you're very interested in it and then, you know, you find out she's cheating on you or you find out that he's cheating on you and you want a divorce or whatever causes it and, you know, who gets the crypto? <laughs> you know, who gets the private key? You can't chop a private key in half. If you do, it's going to be no good. 
So I think these are interesting issues and legal issues that are going to be coming up more and more as we look at how to define cryptocurrency. So in Russia, they said that it falls under what they consider to be other property. So it is property. It's not financial property as of yet, but it's something to keep your eye on. So that's it. That's all our stories today. So this is the last video that you can get in on our contest with. Uh, I, the information is down in the description below. Look for our winner tomorrow. Really excited to announce the winner. Appreciate everybody in our community engaging. We're only going to do more. I saw one guy who was giving away a ledger with $100 in cryptocurrency on it every single day. He's got like 50,000 subscribers. So once we start getting up to those levels and we can break through, I would love to do something like that. Love to give back to the community. And this is my first attempt to do so. Hopefully we'll be doing it a lot more in the future. Thanks for watching. That was your daily crypto news. Oh, 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 oh,